In this video we're going to have a look at some of the important structural elements of working with Word. Namely we're going to look at page breaks and section breaks. So this document that we have in front of us at the moment has got a few issues. Um, so if we just scroll down a couple of things that I would want to modify are the fact that I've got a paragraph here with bullets um, which are breaking across a page. Um, the more significant problem is that we've got a, a table here which is um, far too large for a portrait uh, page orientation and you can see that it's spilling over and disappearing off the page so we need to find a way to modify that. Um, if we have a look at the bulleted list issue first, um, what most people would do in this situation is probably put their cursor um, at the top of this paragraph here and then use the enter key just to push that down. The problem with that, of course, is that if, for example, I come up here and I decide that I need to edit this initial um, section here and I remove a paragraph there, uh, you're going to get the, the, the problem of this then creeping back onto the bottom of the page, which is even worse. Um, if we use the Show Hide tool, you can see the, the sort of code that we've put in there, the, the, the times that I've actually hit the end key. So this is in effect a, a, a sort of predefined amount of padding that's always going to be there. So that does lead to problems, particularly in larger documents where you need finer grain control over the way that things are laid out. So what I'm going to do is just remove all of those extra paragraph remarks and instead of using those, what we're going to do instead is use a page break. So with the cursor just in front of the paragraph beginning, we're going to go to page layout and then go to breaks and then page. So I'm just going to insert a page break there. A quicker way of doing that on a Windows machine, if I just undo that, is control and enter. So that's a handy keyboard shortcut to bear in mind. <clears throat> so the benefit of using a page break is this bit of um, code here just says start whatever follows me on uh, on the next page so it doesn't matter what I take out of this document ahead of the page break um, it won't affect where the placement of that um, that shifted paragraph begins. So if we scroll down to have a look at the table now you can see that the table actually has a page break in front of it and also a page break after it. So if I go to page layout now and I say I want to change my orientation to landscape. Unfortunately, although it works for the, the page that we're on with the table that we're interested in, it's also changed the entire rest of my document to a landscape orientation as well, which is not what we uh, not what we envisaged at all. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. And rather than a page break, we're going to have to put a next page section break in. So section breaks allow you to compartmentalize a document into sub-documents, if you like. And each section can have different formatting, different layout, different headers, different footers. So they're, they're very useful things. So I'm just going to remove that page break, and I'm also going to remove this page break and just going to go to page layout breaks and then in the section breaks um, element here we're going to go to next page. So that's a bit hidden at the moment so I'm just going to move that down so you can see it so we've got a, a section break bracket next page which is exactly what we're after. I'm going to do the same here as well so surround it with section breaks. So this is now in its own section. Um, what you can do as well if you want to see your sections is just right click on your status bar down here and then turn on the section element and that will just tell you um, very neatly which section you're currently in down here. So I'm in section 2 so I can now see that I've compartmentalised my document. This will reflect that it's section 1. If I go beyond the, the last section break I'll be in section 3. So all I need to do now um, is make sure my cursor is somewhere within section 2, go back to orientation, click on that and change it to landscape. So now you've got a landscape page among portrait pages. <laughs> 